In today's screencast, I'm going to show you how to use task paper in drafts to create a project in OmniFocus. On my screen here, you can see that I have an example project with some subtasks and two of those subtasks have further subtasks um, in drafts. And then I have the same project on my right in OmniFocus. I'm going to have that there to demonstrate to you what this is like. Now, if I export this exactly as it is to OmniFocus, then I get exactly what you see on the right. I get a project that is parallel and it contains, to start with just three tasks and then task three contains two subtasks and then task four underneath task three contains two subtasks. All of these are parallel actions. There are no ta tags and that's it. There's nothing else to it. So if you want to just create a very simple project, all you need to do is you just add a dash and the space followed by the name of your task. And for every level that you want to go in, you add a tab in front of it. Now I've created a drafts action group that can help you do this. And the way I like to do this is by using it as a keyboard. So you can actually, if you press and hold on the circle above the keyboard in drafts, you can select which keyboard group you would like to use. And if you've imported my OF task paper action group, then it will be one of the options unless you've turned that off. So by doing that here, we can see that there are a few options. And I'm just going to open up drafts fully and display the same action group on the right so that we can go through and look at it. Now, and the reason why I've set this up as a keyboard as well is because I like to use this on my iPhone. And I don't know if you've looked at the iPhone software keyboard, but there is no tab button. And so if I press the tab key, then it just indents that by one, which is very useful. And then of course you can use backspace to remove the indentation if you like. Placeholder is something that can be quite useful. So for example, if I decide, okay, well task one, it might have for example, it might be, there's going to be a cat in this and we're going to need to name this cat. Then you can do that and then, oh, right, but task two, that's going to be the name of the dog. Then when I run the task paper to OmniFocus action later, then that will actually ask me what is the cat name and what is the dog name and replace this for me. So this is especially useful if you use the same variable in multiple places throughout. So for example, if I added here cat name again, then that would replace both of those with the same answer. Now, up next we have due, defer and estimate. Now these are all time related ones, uh, but OmniFocus is very smart. It will do fuzzy parsing. So if, for example, task one, I say, right, well, this one is going to be due on Thursday, then when OmniFocus imports that, if it imports that today as I record it, which is Friday, then it will put it for next Thursday. But if I import it on a Thursday, well, you're going to have to test that for yourself to see what happens. Defer uses exactly the same. Um, and of course, you can also use the option to say, for example, Thursday minus two days. Um... And then OmniFocus will know, okay, this one's actually due on Tuesday. Again, you could use variables in these dates, the placeholders. And then when you replace those later, so you could put in an actual date, then OmniFocus would know, for example, the 12th of September, subtract two days. That would be the 10th of September. Excellent timing. So let's add an estimated time. And that could be something, for example, like five minutes. Now, I have three actions here. Depending on which version of OmniFocus you're using, you will probably either want tags or context. You don't need to specify both if you're using OmniFocus 3. If you're using OmniFocus 2, then you only have context, which is one context only. And in OmniFocus 3, you have tags. Now, these actions work quite simply. Tags will just input something and then you can input any tags that you like. I can't spell though today. However, the second option, which you may want to use, especially if there are several tags that you like to use regularly, is tags suggest. And this pops up a, an option and lets you choose which tags do you want. 
Now, you will need a Drafts Premium subscription to be able to edit this action, but all you need to do is to go in here and where you see it says one, two, three, you can just replace those with any words that you want. Make sure to enclose them in quotation marks and the quotation marks have to match. So if you decide to use single quotation marks, uh, which are also known as apostrophes, please don't use smart quotation, that won't work. Um, then you can replace those with any options you like and then insert anything. Auto done is quite a useful one. So say for example, in my task three, I have task three A and task three B. Once task three B is done, I consider task three to be complete. So if I say auto done is true, then when I complete task three B, task three will be marked as done. However, task four might need to maybe just check on something when that one's done. So once I've completed task 4a and task 4b, I don't want task 4 to automatically be marked as complete. The repeat options are also very powerful in OmniFocus, especially in OmniFocus 3. So you can say your repeat method. Now do you want a fixed repeat, so every three days, whatever, three days after it was completed, um, and that should start again after it was completed or three days due after completed. These are all explained clearly in on the Inside OmniFocus website. And then your repeat rule is perhaps the one that you're more likely looking for. Do you want to repeat daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? And then, for example, you could say that you want to repeat every two months by inserting two in the monthly and then it does that for you. And you don't need to worry about what all of this means because I've gone through and I've calculated all of those. Parallel is quite useful. If you want, for example, task 4A cannot be completed after task 4B. In fact, task 4B cannot be completed before task A has been completed. Then you may want to say that it is not parallel. Okay, this means it's sequential. By default, if you don't specify parallel, um, is false, then OmniFocus will assume it is true and that you can complete task 4a and then task 4b in whichever order you like. So that's entirely up to you. A flag, I hope, is somewhat self-explanatory. You can just add at flagged and it will do that for you. Now, you might be wondering why has she got due, defer and estimate again? This is all a question of preference. The due, defer and estimate above are intended for free text entry. So you tap it and then you just type in whatever you like. Or say, for example, you've already input a day and then, oh wait, I wanted that to be a due date. Then what you can do is you can actually tap due and it will wrap it for you, which is very nice. But maybe you need to look at a calendar and you need to figure it out. When, when was this one going to be available again? These options down here actually use the date picker in drafts so you can specify exactly when you want things to be available. Task paper here is only just to create a new empty draft using the task paper formatting. So if you double, if you press the double A, the font uh, looking icon here, you can see that I've set my current draft to be task paper format. And that means that it highlights the due, the defer, tags, repeat rules, etc. for me, because drafts knows what I'm trying to write. There are several options, but I always prefer to use task paper syntax highlighting when writing or editing task paper. The last two options are the most interesting. So there's task paper to OmniFocus, and then there's also save template to drafts as URL. So that, for example, if you create one and then you want to just be able to tap on a URL and create this project again and again, this was a feature request from somebody else and he's actually used that to add his project to Launch Center Pro. So Launch Center Pro can prompt him to add a particular project to OmniFocus, but if he knows he's not going to be there that week when he needs this particular project, then he just doesn't run it and doesn't add it to OmniFocus, which is very useful. I'm going to demonstrate task paper to OmniFocus here and it's going to ask me what I want to do. Do I want just a new project? Do I want a new project in a folder? Do I want to add new tasks to a project? So this could be an action group or do I want new tasks in my own box? I would like a new project. Now, as you can see, I've passed out or I've grabbed the 
variables that I'm looking for. So my cat name is going to be David, I think. Wonderful. And then the dog name. Hmm, I think I'm going to have to go with Sparks here, aren't I? Or is it Sparky? I think dogs prefer to be called Sparky. So there we go. And then that has done everything that I'm looking for. And now I've got several options here. Do I want to save my new my version as a new draft? Do I want to update my current draft or do nothing? I'll update my current one and show you what that does. Now, as you can see, it's replaced the variables here, which means that next time I look at it, I don't have to replace those again. And that could be very useful if you want to do this more than once. So let's look inside OmniFocus and see, oh, I've got an example project and oh dear, there's some overdue tasks in there. Task one, David, is overdue, should have been completed by midnight. Oopsie. Well, I'll have to apologize. But I think he might let me off the hook. As you can see, because I didn't have a space before the at in 3B, then OmniFocus couldn't pass that because OmniFocus, when it imports task paper, is looking for something a string that is space separated and it goes through and if it sees something that starts with an at it knows that it needs to read that as a task paper rule if it doesn't start with an at it doesn't know it needs to and to avoid breaking something like an email address they're very smart and they just leave it alone so that was my fault <laughs>